Gravity is a stream of energy particles pushing all molecules in its path. Now, many years ago, Isaac Newton said there is a natural attraction that objects have for each other. You take this atom and this atom. According to Isaac Newton, they have a natural attraction. Now, with this configuration, they define gravity as a force that pulled. This gets pulled over to this. Magic force. Nobody has ever been able to explain how this works at this level. However, today we are going to be able to explain gravity at the molecular level. This is part two of two. You need to have watched the first one. Each atom has a stream going through it. Now, you have to use a little bit of things that you already know how it works. If you're in water and there is a stream of water, you can see the water. And if you step in it and it's a foot deep, you can feel the water pushing on you and pushing you the way the water is going. You can say, well, some people say, what well, sucks you down the stream, but it's actually the stream pushes you. Now, if it's two foot deep, it'll push you twice as hard as one foot. Now, that is something you can see. You know when things are moving in a direction, it takes things with it. Now, another one is the wind blowing. So if you're outside and the wind is blowing 50 miles an hour, you can feel the effects of the wind. You can't see the wind, but you, you can feel it. You can see it blowing on trees. You can see it doing other things. There's devices that can measure how fast the wind is. You can feel the effects. Which direction does it push you? It pushes you the direction that it's going. Particles hitting particles here and pushing you, or atoms, molecules. You're pushed in that direction. So now let's come over here, and we're going to show you how this works at the molecular level. To explain how this works, we're going to take our vacuum cleaner. Here it is right here, vacuum cleaner hose. Like we showed earlier, when you turn a vacuum cleaner on, stream goes through here, part one of gravity. Now we're going to concentrate on the effect of the air going this way. Now watch these feathers. Now, what happened? As the flow of air was going in, you can say a vacuum cleaner sucks, or however, however you view this, the air was going this way. When the air hit the feathers, they went in. Now, you notice the first one went faster than the second one. There's a reason for that. There's more particles, more air closer to the hole. So more particles, more air flowing closer than further away. That's going to show you how gravity also works. So, look at this atom. This is all moving. A stream is going through it, just like the vacuum cleaner. So now, as you have this stream of particles, you have another piece of matter, another atom, and it's floating along here, and this stream of particles that are going this way strikes the proton ring or strikes any part of this atom, what's it going to do? It's going to push it this way just like the feathers did in the vacuum cleaner. No different. Same exact principle. If you understand how air, wind blows on you, pushes you, a flow of particles does the same thing. Now, as the atom gets closer, if there's two streams of particles and it's being pulled, as it gets closer, if two particles are hitting it, the force is what? Going to double. The pressure on it is going to double. It's going to be pushed twice as fast in that direction. That's how gravity works 
at the molecular level. A stream of particles push all atoms in their path. All right, you saw gravity at the molecular level. So then you have to imagine all the molecules in the earth here where I'm standing, they all have streams going through them. So I'm standing here, I jump up in the air, it always pushes me back down. You can measure that with a scale, you can tell how much I weigh, it's because all those particles that are going to the earth are going through me, hitting all the atoms in my body and pushing me down to this earth. That's how it works everywhere. That's, that's the principle behind gravity is it is a particle that pushes, not some magic force that pulls. That's a mistake physics made after Isaac Newton's statement that uh, objects have a natural attraction for each other. They defined it as a force that pulls. It should have been a particle that pushes. Just remember, physics and chemistry are easy with the correct geometry. Mm -hmm.